guys, welcome back to KNL Gumball, and today we're going to be in interviewing Infinite Value. I don't know his exact name, but that's what his YouTube channel is. Today, we're going to be interviewing him. He has a few Gumball machines, and he's a really good entrepreneur. I'll leave the link to his channel down below and also put a thing up there. And without further ado, let's get into the interview. We had a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. Yeah, man, I was just, uh, you know, leaving the gym. I, you know, didn't have to go to work, you know, so it was, it was all good, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, how you doing, man? So, yeah, you put this on your YouTube channel, bro. I love it, man. Love yeah. it, man. I was just going to ask bro. if I could so, put it on uh, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, bro, excellent, excellent, man. I really appreciate it. So, yeah, you know, definitely I have uh, infinite value, and, uh, you know, it's just a little channel that I have, and, you know, just focusing on so many things in life, whether it's something that has to do with your you know, with your wealth, with your health, or any kind of relationships, you know, that's what my channel's all about, and um, I know you're in particular interested in the vending, so yep. let's focus on the wealth, right? <laughs> yeah, um, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Yeah, bro, go right ahead, man. Um, what got you started in the vending business? Well, that's one of those things, uh, I've always liked passive income, so basically passive income, you know, de you know described as having to do basically very little and then eventually just having having it uh, pay you basically every single month without you having to do much work obviously you know in the initial startup you know you have to do a little bit of work obviously setting it up so I mean I definitely have you know a couple of like little streams of income that I'm yeah I'm always working on so uh, obviously the vending is was one of those and I, I just feel that the average millionaire has about seven sources of income and I'm like hey you know ha have you know my my vending business be one of those main sources of income you know so, uh, I mean, I just like the passivity, basically, to answer your question. So, I mean, you know, you just go every month and collect, and then, you know, basically, I could be doing my job, and at the same time, have, have you know, you know that, that, like, little money coming in on the side. So, that's what I really love about vending, so. Yeah. Um, what's your best location? Uh, right now, my best location, I ha it's a double-head location, and it's it has bouncy balls and gumballs, and it's at a hair salon. Uh for some reason, Cole, I tell you, uh, I feel that salons are some of the best locations. I feel that since people always have to get their hair cut, you know, they're always going to be going in there, so you're always going to get that foot traffic because, you know, hair doesn't stop growing, you know, unless, you know, you're definitely, you know, go bald. No offense to anyone that's bald, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it de definitely, you know, the salons, I feel like, are the best. So it's, it's, a, it's a very busy salon. It's open from 9 in the morning all the way till 8 p.m. at night, and that's one of my best locations. I usually average about probably $30 to $40. Definitely, you know, if anyone's starting, like, any kind of vending business, I recommend salons. I, that's probably, you know, one of the best, because all my salons usually do pretty well. Yeah, I don't have any salon locations. Yeah. I have a few barbershops. You know, your hair, you know, your face, yeah. anything, like, you know, so. <laughs> I, like have a few. I mean, nail salons, I, I'm not, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't had too much luck with nail salons, but, I mean, so for some people, they, they do well. Yeah. I have a bunch of car yeah. dealership locations and stuff like that. Um, car dealership? Yeah, it does okay. Nice. It's in like the That's awesome, man. like the service room. Um, what tips would you nice, give? Nice man, that, that's a good. That's good. What tips would you give to be beginners when asking for a location? Well, um, tips for very be uh, beginners would be to first of all just take the first step. I mean, because there's always people that want to do it and then there's people that actually do it so just kind of just take an action even if you're like kind of like nervous to go into a place just go in there and ask for a location because when I first started this uh it took me about 30 no's before someone gave me the first initial yes and I mean when I first did like the very very first time I went out I completely butchered my pitch and I was like oh gosh I really messed that up so bad I was like stuttering, I was nervous, and then eventually obviously it was a clear no. So, I mean, I just I just ask, you know, just go out and try it, and the more you do it, pitching locations to your businesses, uh, then the better you'll get uh, through time. So, I mean, I go into any, any locations and I can easily just talk to someone. And I mean, I just feel that like the more you do it, the more practice you get, the better it is, bro. So, I mean, I, I saw you and your sister trying to get locations the other day, and I was like, yeah. man, I, I just, I loved watching that, bro. You have a good channel, and, uh, don't, don't ever, you know, you know, just like doubt yourself, man. You, you know, just take a deep breath, go in there and say like, hey, how's it going? My name is Cole. I have a little vending business and I just wanted to see if we can set up a little quarter van gumbo machine for you guys today. I mean, if you work with, with a charity, you know, that's, that's even better too. I mean, but I mean, 
it just it just helps you out even more. I mean, honestly, since you know, how, how old are you? If you don't mind me asking, bro. I'm 15. I just turned 15. Nice, man. See, that's the thing, bro. You still have like so much, to, like you know, to like, you know, I wish I would have started at 15. You know, at 15, I was just out there trying to like download music illegally from like. <laughs> Like, from like all these places and like not doing anything productive and you know for you to and your sister to start you know a youtube channel and uh to start uh a little vending business that's phenomenal man so Thank you know you. so back to your question what advice I, I would just recommend just going out there and just trying to get those locations because the hardest part of any vending business is just going out there and getting those locations because think about it as soon as you go out there and you get your location, you know, you get your locations, then all you have to do is just basically upkeep with a machine, just whether it's replace, re, you know, replacing it with like, you know, your inventory, whether it's gumballs, can't bulk candy, toys, and then just collecting your money. So, I mean, that's, that's a simple, just because after that, it just becomes with your employee. I don't know if you follow uh, All Things Gumball. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, his name is Neil. And, yeah. um, yeah. He's, uh, he's always said that, yeah, he, he refers to his uh, gumball machines as employees because they don't complain. They don't ask for days off. They don't argue. They just, you know, you know, do what they're told, and they they make money every month. So yeah. Um, my next question is, um, how many locations do you have currently? Uh, at the moment, I have. Well, I, I mean, I do this only on the side, bro. So yeah. mm-hmm. I, mean, I only have about. Well, I I have like fifteen locations all together. Fifteen locations just p- placed, and I still have about four machines that I still have to place. Um, you know, but obviously. I have my job that I'm doing all the time, and I have other uh, things that I'm working on. I'm working on, a, on an ebook right now. I'm working on an audio version of my book. You know, just def, definitely different things to you know to focus on, so I can you know make extra side sources of income. Yeah, I see but that. I, I mean, I love my vending business, you know, uh, and you know, out of those, yeah. Hello. Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, out of. Can you, can you hear me okay, bro? Yeah, I can yeah. hear you. So out of those 15 locations, um, you know, I, yeah, good, good, good. So, uh, yeah, out of those locations, I always just make sure to, you know, just go in there and, you know, just talk to everybody, be really nice. Uh, so I, I'm really uh, good with all, like, the business owners. I go in there and I say, hey, how's it going? Oh, how's business? And usually I can always tell how good their business is doing based on how much I collect from the uh, location. So, yeah. I mean, as business, it goes up and down, up and down, so... Some months, it, you know, like my best location will do, like that one's always consistent, so I know that they're always a good business, so, uh, you know, just go out there, and I mean, within time, you'll get more more locations, and, you know, it's just, I, I just focus mostly on, like, bulk candy, I mean, I know I could probably focus on those big bulk vending machines, like the big ones with the pro- plug into electricity, but then you have to kind of, like, uh, think about your return on investment, I mean, well, you get, you know, that money back right away or is it going to take you probably about three or five years to get that money back i mean with like the small bulk uh, machines you can get your you know your money back within a couple of months and then it's just pure profit for you yeah um you know yeah um yeah just especially the gumball is so much profit um yeah the just, profit margins are great yeah because it's like what i think three cents maybe for a gumball and exactly yeah yeah. Basically, no, that's almost really paying good. nothing. <laughs> um, how yeah, long? Yeah, no, that's, that's a huge profit margin. What's that? How long have you been in the business? Believe it or not, uh, I've only been in it about probably I would say about a year and a half, almost going on to two now. I mean, it, it, I started off like planning it, so I consider kind of like the planning process being part of the business, and then eventually just going out there and placing the machines and you know collecting on them and everything. So I mean. I have a the legit business all well set up. I mean, I have an LLC set up, so I mean, I track my miles when I go out and collect. So I mean, obviously, you know, it's it's one of those things. You know, I mean, it's different for every state. If you are, you know, trying trying to you know go like you know the full like you know I guess le- legal way I guess so to say, because I mean some places some like states don't even require anything. You can just go and place a machine, I guess. But you know, don't take my word for it. You know. Yeah. <laughs> You know, do do some research. You know, I have like little light, li- uh, little license uh, stickers on all my machines, so it's it's good, man. It's it's a good business, and go out and place it, and it, it's just gonna be so rewarding. You know, yeah. and it, the machine's basically there once you first set it up for years to come. You know, unless the business go, you know, knock on wood, you know, you know the business goes out of business. So yeah, um, yeah. So right. fifteen locations to answer your question, Mr. Cole. All right. Well, well, and that basically wraps up location. the video. <laughs> Um, yeah, wraps up that, the that, interview. definitely, bro. This was fun. Yeah, thank you so yeah, much. Thank you for being willing to do yeah, this. Yeah, no, definitely. I hope you. <laughs> I, absolutely, bro. You know, anytime, Andy. Mm-hmm.